This tutorial will show you how to use the control panel system in a connected classroom. At the control panel, turn on the projector or display, and then choose PC as your source. On the PC, you can sign in with your SDSU ID name and password. Then you can launch the Zoom application from the shortcut icon on the desktop. Click the Sign In button, and be sure to choose the option to sign in with SSO. The company domain is SDSU, and when you continue, you'll be prompted to log in with your SDSU ID credentials. I'm already logged in, so I can launch the Zoom application. Once you're in the Zoom application, you can launch a meeting that you've previously scheduled by going to your Meetings tab. Or you could also launch a new meeting, which I will do now. Be sure to join with computer audio when prompted. And taking a look at your camera settings, please select the USB Capture SDI option. And for your speaker and microphone settings, select Extron HDMI as your speaker and Collaborate Versa USB as your microphone. Depending on the type of microphone installed in your classroom, another option you might select would be the USB Capture SDI Line-In option. If you are unsure which microphone to select, please refer to the job aid mounted on the wall next to the instructor podium. If you would like to record this session for your students to view later, click the Record button and choose Record to the Cloud. You can share your screen and choose an option, for example, the browser window, to be able to go to any website and share that with your attendees. The Connected Classroom also allows you to share the document camera in Zoom. Click Share Screen and then choose the Advanced tab. Here, select Content from Second Camera. Once you've selected that, click the Share button, and as you can see, the document camera is now the source in Zoom. You may place objects on the whiteboard surface as you normally would. To utilize the document camera features such as Zoom, go to the Control Panel and find the document camera controls. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, or you could always use one of the preset options. This one zooms to about a document size. When you are done with Zoom, you can stop sharing, and don't forget to stop your recording, and you'll be reminded that you'll receive an email when the recording is ready. You may close out of your Zoom meeting, and close out of all of your applications. Always remember to sign out of the computer when you're done using it.